Hello and welcome to Official Xbox 360 Magazine's RXM Report and this week two extremely fit ladies put the moves on me. But it's not nearly as much fun as it sounds because they're both trained mixed martial artists and stars of Supremacy MMA. So I'm here with Michelle and Felice who are both uh, MMA fighters who are featuring Supremacy MMA. Um, so what was it that first attracted you to a sport where you get punched in the face? Um, well, you know, I've always been really athletic and I began boxing. So I knew that it was the sport for me when I sparred the first time and got hit and didn't really phase me. So my first instinct is to hit right back. So that's kind of when you know you have it or you don't. Fair enough. Have you guys seen yourselves in the game? I mean, what, what do you guys yeah. think of your, your characters? We actually got to play ourselves yesterday and it was, it was just amazing. Um, it's fun to watch yourself like as a video game character. Um, I played Michelle and Michelle played me, so we were beating each other up with each other. So <laughs> that was a good time. <laughs> I let her win on purpose just so that I could beat her up. <laughs> it's kind of scary, like seeing yourself get knocked out and, you know, bleeding from places that I didn't know blood could come from. <laughs> it, it's just surreal, almost, you know? It's kind of. Kind of like a dream come true. How closely does it replicate your like fighting style? You know the way you move and things. It's they really focused on. They watched our fights. It's pretty dead on. Yeah. I mean, I'm watching myself in the video game. I'm like, that looks just like me. I can't even tell that that's a video game character. Uh -huh. Like literally, I'm like, that looks like me when I fight. So. Some of the things like obviously my character does better than I do. Like I'm like, ooh, I need to try that spinning back fist out one day. You know. But I mean, as far as the way we stand, speed. You know, the way that we punch, the technique, the things that we do the most, you yeah. know, it does. So how's, it, how's the kind of uh, the sport structured for, for female fighters? Because obviously it's still quite a sort of new thing. It's growing, but I think things like Supremacy MMA, you know, and a couple of other things that are going on right now are opening more doors for us. People think there's only, you know, to the normal person, MMA fan, they think all they see is M like male MMA fighters because they're watching the UFC, but, you know, because the UFC doesn't have female fighters, so like we're not televised, so we don't get as much as much exposure, so we don't necessarily get as much recognition. So we want all the girls to kind of rally together and kind of like come together as a team so that we get recognized more. The more noise we make, I think, the better chance we have of having someone listen. There's always a always been a bit of an argument about who has the higher pain threshold, men or women. What what are your thoughts on that? I don't I don't know. I mean, women have babies. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I had one, but I had the thing that made it not so bad, the epidural oh, or whatever. Yeah. But I don't really like when I'm in there. You don't really feel pain. Yeah. It's like an adrenaline it's dump. The adrenaline, yeah. And men, men can't take a paper cut. They're sissies. Yeah. Oh God forbid they get like a cold or the flu or something. I actually have a paper cut. Oh God. I, I wept for a week. You yeah. almost took off work today because of it. <laughs> but they do say that, like, as far as, like, trainers go, I don't know if you've ever heard this, but, like, it's easier to train. We pick up faster. We're definitely more dedicated. We don't whine, you know, because we have so much to prove. It's do or die here. It's not do half-ass and keep your fingers crossed, you know. Well, it's like if we don't train hard at the gym, we're not going to get taken seriously. And when we're training with all men and, you know, the coaches are men, like, we need to prove ourselves, otherwise we're going to be pushed off to the side, we're going to be put on the back bur burner, and then we're not going to get the training that we need or the attention that we need to succeed. Excellent. I'm, I was wondering uh, if you could show me like any kind of move. I mean, like I'm basically a human stick man, so be gentle. Come here. Okay, how does this work? Okay, so kneel down. Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. If I touch and try to move, I'll, I'll get it. You want Okay. okay. So, I'm going to take the hand one arm is in, I'm gonna take his arm and put it across, and then I'm gonna lock up the triangle choke. I'm gonna come turn to the side to really sink it in tight, and then I'm gonna just pull and squeeze. Wow, okay. Okay, oh, you learned how to tap. Yeah, look at that one, wow. So that is the triangle choke, my dear. All right, so I wanna get up high, right? What I would do is like, like yeah. punch you, but you can, Transition this way and then put okay. them running into the wall right now, but pull. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't feel you tapping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, that, that was, was excruciating. By the way, you <laughs> locked out because the liver shot would have put you right. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I should have thrown up on you. Um, but yes, thank you very much for, um, for beating me up, ladies. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Anytime.